So for your home chip lab, you're going to have to work with hydrofluoric acid, which is somewhat dangerous. Um, you can get it in this product. It's Wink Rust and Stain Remover. It's about 2% from what their material safety data sheet says. Um, be careful. Use sp uh, a splash shield and uh, chemical resistant goggles and gloves. You know, double up if you're really scared of it. Um, here's a, a box that you can make of an old fish tank for doing your etching. So you can cut a groove in the plastic lid and you can label it here it's uh, etch to rinse. And um, so you start with acid in your first bath here, which is your, your wink rust and stain remover. And you make a little paddle like this to hold your wafer piece. Just to, This is made out of acrylic. And I use double stick tape to hold the piece of wafer so I can bring it down through this slot. Down into the acid. Do the etch. Agitate it. <clears throat> and then have a secondary rinse. Some rinse water here. And then my final rinse here. And then I can pull it back up out of this tank. Um, that way prevents splashes and if you always go from etch to rinse to rinse you're going to come out with a, a piece of wafer that doesn't have hydrofluoric acid on it. And here's a tip. On each of these containers that hold the, the etch and the rinse water, progressively put more water in the next ones so if there's any acid that gets up onto the wand, um, you can wash it off in the final edge. All right, be safe, guys. Make transistors and have fun.